Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Web Design Quick Tips. In this week's episode we're going to be exploring CSS transitions. So basically what a CSS transition is, is a property that you add to a block of CSS that allows for a little bit smoother of a transition between one state to another. So for instance up here at the top of this website mockup I've created, notice when I hover over the various navigational items that it just kind of blinks on and off with the background color change. Same thing with this video block down here, these small little thumbnails, they just kind of flash on and off. What I want to do is make that transition a little bit more gradual to add a little bit more of a nicer effect. So let's go over into the CSS of this document and take a look at exactly what I'm talking about. So I need to find, first of all, the property that I want to change. In this case, it's the menu link right there. So I'm just going to come down and I'm going to start off by adding a browser extension. So in this case, it's the WebKit because I'm working in Chrome. And I'm just going to say transition. And I'm going to make it a background transition because that's the property that I want to change. I want it to be one second long. And I want it to simply be a linear transition. No easing or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and save that. And if I go back and refresh my page, now you'll see when I hover over these, they fade in and fade out very nicely. Now if I go back, I can add in the other browser prefixes, so moz transition to background one second linear. And I'll also add in transition background one second linear. So that should cover most of my bases. So I'll save that. Now I also want to add the same basic transition to the images at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to come down here and find video image and then I'm just going to start typing the same stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do WebKit transition. In this case I want the opacity to be changed. I'll do one second and I'll do a linear transition. Let's go ahead and add the other browser prefixes. So moz transition opacity one second in length linear and just a regular old transition opacity one second linear save and I'll go back refresh my page so again we have the gradual transition up here at the top if I scroll down and take a look at my images they also fade in and fade out very nicely so there you have it how to quickly and easily add a little bit of something extra to your transition by utilizing the all-new CSS3 transitions property so take a minute, play with that, and I'm sure it'll help you on your next web project. Well, that's it for this episode of Web Design Quick Tips. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash webdesigncom. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash webdesigncom, and we're on Twitter at webdesigncom. Thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of the Web Design Quick Tips podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll see you next week.